I think I kind of feel like an early employee of a startup where we've gone through all such times, trained so hard, and we've gradually come up these three, four years that we've played and. We see the growth, and we're so excited to see the platforms. Like been playing most of, of our cricket on synthetic turfs, and now to see world-class stadiums being built, infrastructure being built, the fan following is coming now. So it's really exciting for us, and especially for those who are growing up here, aspiring, they will have heroes to look up to, and you know, take this up as a career as well in the future. I started, I think, around at the age of 10, uh, playing in the streets of Mumbai. Gradually, it grew. I came up the ranks, under 13, under 15, played for the state, and made my way to play for the under 19 Indian team. So I am very passionate about my education as well. And I was always kind of like juggling both the things in India. I graduated in 2013 uh, from my undergrad, and that was a dilemma at that time, where I got a good full-time job as well and I had to pick what I wanted to do. I went first day to my job and I actually thought this not, I'm not ready quite to give up the sport yet. And then I gave uh, two full years to cricket. That's the year I made my first class debut. I had two good seasons and I was in and out of the IPL circuit. I was uh, around a few teams, but never quite made it into the team. And same with first class, I wasn't making it to the next level. So in 2015, I kind of took a call that I'd rather you know, pursue uh, like higher education. It was a very emotional one, but I sort of took that call and uh, packed my bags, came to the US to study. I never ever dreamt that I'll get to play cricket again here. I never even carried my cricket shoes to the US, nothing. But then it just happened again. I got a job in California. That's when I sort of got introduced to the circuit here. It was scattered, but there was club cricket here and there. So I used to travel around the US to play cricket on the weekends. We started going up the ranks here as well. And then the opportunity came in 2018 when I got eligible to play for the US. And that's when I got my US cap. And that was like a dream come true. It's been a very humbling feeling that life gave me another chance to pursue what I love doing. And I really feel that bliss as soon as I enter the field or play competitive cricket. So it's been great for me personally. Yeah, I think as soon as I entered the team, I got great vibes. I think the way we go about our things and the culture that we've set as a team is really remarkable. As far as uh, playing alongside uh, some of the international stars, it's been great to you know learn f from them, bowl alongside them. And a special mention to Dale Stain, who was a fast bowling coach. And I had kind of like a fanboy moment when I saw him for the first time because I used to try to copy his bowling action playing in the streets of Mumbai and I told him that, so that was an emotional moment for me. Ball. We're helping each other out. We are like noticing the small things and trying to uh, boost each other. And uh, we're not feeling that there are stars among our team, we're all treated equally, so that's really good to see.